Just give me a second, please. Okay. So in the last session, we created primary ledger by selecting accounting calendar, currency, chart of accounts, and do sub ledger accounting method. And we enabled allow dynamic inserts at chart of accounts level, right? At COA level. So what is the purpose of allow dynamic inserts? To create the new code combinations, we require allow dynamic inserts. So now what we are going to do is we are going to provide retained earnings account for primary ledger for our primary ledger so this account is mandatory to set up otherwise you cannot complete the primary ledger definition so we'll go and provide the returned earnings account for our primary ledger so we know the navigation how to go to our primary ledger right so navigation setup financials accounting setup manager accounting setups here search for our primary ledger our primary ledger name we given as ebs erp3 india primary ledger just click on go see our primary ledger definition here just click on update accounting options then against the ledger options click on update then click on next here we can see the returned earnings account field just click on search now here you can see that create tab is enabled okay normally it takes some time so that's what uh, we could not do it immediately in the last session so click on go select company thousand just click on search then click on go it will list out all the departments select any one of the department but we should select returned earnings account here account and department any value you can select but account should be returned earnings account here for returned earnings account here you see here you can see search by account and description so if you know the account number you can go with account selection if you know the name of the account then you can select the description then search for retained earnings account so here you can see the returned earnings account the code is double two double two this so this okay fine Then click on create. Now system will create code combination by selecting these codes. It will create code combination. Just click on create. Now system create a new code combination. The reason is chart of accounts level we given the permission to create the new code combinations by enabling allow dynamic inserts. Right. So select then say select. So that account code combination will get selected into this return earnings account field. Now you can just click on next. These are the advanced options. We don't need to set it up now. When we are working on GL, we'll just go through the, all this information. For now, just click on next. You can review all the information what you provided for your primary ledger, including this account. Okay. So this is the information we provided. Then finally say finish. Now you can see the ledger options name got updated with our ledger name. Okay, done. So this is all about primary ledger creation. Now <clears throat> within our primary ledger, we created few companies. Say we have a companies like say thousand we given specific naming convention also two thousand and three thousand say we have three companies okay we have three companies so when you are running the three companies how many registrations we should go 
say for example these three companies you are running within the india so how many registrations are required the case is three companies we are running three businesses we are doing and we are doing the the complete business operations within one country so how many registrations we should have to run the three companies or three entities or three organizations three businesses anyone please i think one okay any other answers just we are trying to understand the possibilities so group is same organization is one within that we have a three different businesses okay so as we discussed uh, like uh, financial services consulting services bpo services okay the three businesses anyone please how many registrations we can go three three okay any other cases there are multiple possibilities we have here see under one registration you can run these three companies or else if you are interested to go with the separate registrations where you will be running three companies or three different entities in terms of tax reporting or any reporting so in that case for company 1000 you can have separate registration for company 2 you can have separate registration for company 3 you can have separate registration you can have only one or else you can have only uh, you can have three registrations for each company separate registration or else you can have one registration for company 1000 and 2000 or you can have a one registration for company 1000 and 3000 or you can have a registration with the company 2000 and 3000 okay how you want to manage okay your business process in terms of registration so accordingly you can go with the company registration okay now we'll go with the case as we have only one registration to run these three companies yes normally if you are running the business in one country okay even those are different type of businesses different vertical of businesses still you can go with one registration in one country one registration will support for different businesses also if you are interested to go with a different registrations yes that is possible or else you can go with some combination as a one registration and other entity other business as a separate registration okay now what are the registrations company has that registration information we have to create in the system as a legal entity okay so when you go for registration there will be some registration information with what name you registered what is your company registration identification information registration number and the company pan number tan number other details all these you will have a some proof of documentation which will get from the government in which country you are going for registration so when you are going to create this after creating the chart after creating this primary ledger within the primary ledger we have these three companies these three companies we are running under how many registrations that we have to specify in the system okay how many registrations we have to run those three companies that we have to specify if you have a three registra one registration okay for that you have to create one legal entity okay legal entity le we call for each registration we have to create one legal entity okay if you take example we have only one registration in that case say for example we have only one le le1 le1 so how many registrations the company has those many legal entities we have to create let's take simple example here only one legal entity we have so i'm just calling it as le1 so we'll create one legal entity after that what we have to do is which company we are running under which legal entity that company we have to assign to that legal entity in this case so we'll assign 1000 company with le1 we have to assign company we have to assign to legal entity so this company 2000 also we are running with registration with one only legal entity one only 
okay 3000 also say we are running with the same registration you take the case we have a two legal entities le1 and le2 say this company 1000 and 2000 you are running with the first registration le1 so in that case 1000 and 2000 companies will be assigning to le1 and company say the company 3000 you are running with this registration le2 so in that case the company 3000 will be assigned to le2 so this is how we have to map which company we are running under which registration that we have to specify so when you assign the balancing segment flex field qualifier to company segment okay when you assign the balancing segment flex field qualifier to company segment the company segment we can call as which segment anyone please balancing balancing segment balancing segment. balancing segment. yeah see when you say segment is company under company segment what are the segment values we have we call as company segment values when you assign balancing segment flex fill qualifier to company segment the company segment you are calling as balancing segment if you call company segment as a balancing segment under balancing segment what are the segment values we have we can call as which values anyone company balancing segment yeah you can ignore company simply you can call as balancing segment values anyway one segment will be acting as a balancing that is company in our case now company segment you are calling as balancing under company what are the values we have that we can call as balancing segment values instead of calling as a company values you can call as balancing since the company segment is qualified with balancing segment flex field qualifier now what we have to do is these thousand two thousand three thousand we can call as which values balancing segment values that's all balancing segment balancing segment values bsv we call okay can we call department values as a balancing no why no why what is the reason it's not directly associated with company company we associated with uh, balancing uh, no no my question till now we uh, your answer is i just asked the question I want to call company department segment values as a balance and segment values. You said no. What is the reason? Simple answer. Because uh, a ba balancing segment qualifier is not attached to department. That's it. That's a simple answer. Okay. Because you didn't assign balance and segment flex field qualifier to department. If you want, if you assign balance and segment flex field qualifier to department, yes, you can call. The balancing segment flex field qualifier you can assign to only one segment. Only one segment. Any qualifier. We discuss the six flex field qualifiers we have. Any qualifier you can assign to only one segment. Okay. So now company segment values only we call as balancing segment values. Here the point is the balancing segment uh, balancing segment values we have to assign to legal entities. So what here we are going to do is We'll go and create the legal entity. How many legal entities we have to create? Two. No, no, no. Here, don't go with the scenario. This example. So, take as a generic question. So, now we created a primary ledger. How many legal entities we have to create? One legal entity. One. Correct. Your one. Your answer is correct, but normally the answer should be how many registrations company has those many legal entities we have to create. Okay. Just here, just for example, I taken this. How many legal entities we have to create when you are doing some implementation or when you have some primary ledger? Just you have to look at the reality, how many registrations that company has, those many legal entities we have to create. 
now we are going to take example as well, only just one we'll go with a one legal entry for our understanding how many legal entries we have to create means simple answer is how many registrations the company has those many legal entries we have to create okay create legal entry we call as le okay so after creating the legal entity so we'll have a balance in segment values right balance in segment values we have where, where we have balance in segment values In segment. Balance in segment values we have in. Any answer is correct. Let's Balancing. discuss. Balancing segment flex field qualifier. No, no, no. In company. In company value set you can say. Yes. Or else you can say the balance in segment values we have within the chart of account. That is also correct. But now simply you can say the balance in segment values we have in our primary ledger. Because chart of account we used within our primary ledger. Now let's take this statement. Okay. The balance and segment values we have within our primary ledger. Within the primary ledger, we have chart of accounts. Within the chart of accounts, we have company segment. For company segment, we assign company value set. Within the value set, we have balance and segment values. That is the reality. But simply you can say balance and segment values we have within our primary ledger. When you go detail within the chart of account, within the segment, and directly finally within the specific value set fine so <clears throat> those balance and segment values we have to assign to legal entity if you want to assign see here we have primary ledger okay we have legal entity okay we have primary ledger we have legal entity now what we have to do is so within this primary ledger, we have balance and segment values, right? BSV. How many BSVs we have? Three we have. As we discussed here, we have to assign this balance and segment values to we have to assign balance and segment values to legal entity. Legal entity. We have to assign. But in the system process, you cannot do it directly. What you have to do is, first we have to assign legal entity to balance and segment values. First we have to assign legal entity to, sorry, not balance and segment values, primary ledger. We have to assign the legal entity to primary ledger. When you assign the legal entity to primary ledger, this will is two legal entity and primary ledger. The legal entity and primary ledger, these two will get some connectivity. So then system will allow you to assign the balance in segment values to legal entity which are available within this primary ledger. Okay. First we have to assign the legal entity to primary ledger. The next step is within that primary ledger how many balance and segment values you have those you can assign to legal entity if you have one legal entity assign all to one legal entity if you have multiple legal entities assign those multiple balance and segment values to multiple legal entity this is what we have to first we have to create the legal entity the next step is assign legal entity to primary ledger okay assign legal entity to primary ledger so after assigning the legal entity to primary ledger what we have to do within the primary ledger okay within the primary ledger how many balance and segment values we have those we have to assign to legal entity Within the primary ledger, how many balance and segment values we have, those we have to assign to legal entity. If you don't assign legal entity to primary ledger, system won't allow you to assign balance and segment values to legal entity. Actually, reality, this is, a, this is what we have to perform, second step. If you want to perform the second step, 
without performing this step you cannot do it that is the reason first we have to assign the legal entity to primary ledger so that within the primary ledger what are the balance and segment values we have those you can assign to one or multiple legal entities okay now you can say assign balancing segment values bsv okay assign balancing segment values to legal entity any questions here please Calendar is ready, chart of account is ready, everything is ready. We created primary ledger, we enabled, allow dynamic inserts also. We provided return earnings account. Now we are going to work on these tasks. We are going to create legal entity first, then legal entity will be assigned to primary ledger. Within the primary ledger, how, what are the balance and segment values we have, those will be assigned to respective legal entities. In our case, I'm going to create one legal entity. All the balance and segment values we are going to assign to one legal entity. Yeah, please. Hello, Lakshman. Lakshman, can you again, uh, you know, once again come again uh, on balance and segment values? What is it actually? I'm not clear on that. Oh, did you uh, did you attend the those relevant uh, session? Whatever we discussed. Yeah, till Friday I uh, attended. Till Friday. After Friday, there was no class. No. See, simple. <clears throat> so, for company which flex field qualifier we assigned, please. You can answer, please. Because, see, don't take in another way. Without preparing, you cannot catch. That is the reason I am explaining before just we get into the application related activities that is the reason clearly i am just writing here and i explained before we just go and see the chart of account definition of the system i just given all the points here all the points how many flex field qualifiers how many segment qualifiers what are those what you can assign to what wh how we call after assigning the, everything i explained now my question is yeah. for company which flex field qualifier we assigned See, so if you don't have, if you are not ready with that information, you cannot understand. Again, I have to repeat okay. whatever I explained. If you don't mind, just please go through the okay. previous sessions. Okay, after going through, still if you have any doubt or any clarity, definitely we can discuss on that. It will, it will become yeah. just again talking the same. Okay. So simple point, for company we assigned balancing segment flex field qualifier. To which segment we assign balance and segment qualifier, that segment you can call as balancing segment. For company, we assign balance and segment flex field qualifier. That is the reason company segment we are calling as balancing segment. Within the balancing segment, whatever the values we'll find, those values we call as balancing segment values. That means company values we are calling as balancing segment values. Reason we assign balance and segment flex field qualifier to company that's all okay yeah. so please just yeah. try to spend some time so that uh, we can avoid some kind of uh, some kind, <laughs> kind of just issues that we go through yeah please find any other questions here please any questions from anyone please Five minutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. Just I kept on mute all. You can go ahead, please. Some points on the legal entity. I just missed the start. Yeah, tell me what is, your, what is your question? What is meant by this legal entity uh, registration? How many registration we have? That many legal entities? See, I'm, uh, let, let me give you a simple, uh, simple example. I am running the institute in Amripet. For this institute, I have a registration. In my books, I will write it as a, I'll be creating as, if I'm going to use Oracle application, Oracle application, my registration information, I'll be entering entering as a legal entity. That's all. Company registration information, you have to 
maintain in the system with the title called as legal entity when you say registration that is a legal it is kind of licensing yeah license registration registration yeah you can call as a licensing for your business to do the business what are the license you take from the uh, respective legal bodies that you can call it you may not call as just license license normally for some products and all you will be calling normally here registration okay and uh, what is the primary goal of this uh, creation in attaching it to primary ledger okay you have to report to the government you just will have a registration if you do the, if you want to do the business in india as per company's laws you should uh, have a registration without registration you should not you should not run the business you have to go with registration you should get some identity to do the business and what are the business you are doing that that you have to report to government with the specification of your registration number and details okay so the legal entity have all information See, simple yeah you will be just selling the some products and you will be charging the tax from your customers that you have to pay to the government right yeah so on what base you will be paying you should get registered first you have to run the business with the registration then you can charge the tax then you that with that your registration this is my business i mean this is a, my registration this much turn, turnover i have like this this much uh, tax i collected from my customers and i am paying with based on my registration that's how you can just do the business yeah I have a big organization. Uh, if I have a three companies, uh, I will attach these three companies with some three legal entities, and uh, uh, the tax or uh, any yes, billing. Yes. See, it's it's not mandatory to go with the three registrations for three companies. Okay, within one country under one registration, you can run multiple companies. Say you are running the business in three countries. It's a mandatory. You have to go. go with a separate registration for each and every country you are running the business in three countries so three registration in in each country again you can have multiple that's your own interest how you want to manage how you want to report to the respective country local laws okay okay yeah 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 fine okay done now we'll see how to create the legal entity how to assign legal entity to, to specific primary ledger and how to assign balance in segment values to legal entity fine that so <clears throat> so we have to create the legal entity so navigation would be same same page will be landing on the same page from where you can create legal entity from where we created our primary ledger from the same page you can create the legal entity the tab would be different that's all so same navigation to create the legal entity you may take the task as create legal entity task is create legal entity navigation is setup financials accounting setup manager accounting setups so by clicking on create accounting setup we are creating the primary ledger if you want to create the legal entity you have to go with this tab so next to accounting setups we have a tab called as legal entities just select this tab so here you can create the legal entity if you want to find out the existing legal entities you can go with a simple search where you can give the country name or legal entity name and you can click on go you can find your legal you can find the existing legal entities anyway we are going to create our own legal entity so we can just click on create legal entity just click on create legal entity fine <clears throat> so we are going to create the legal entity for which country so india okay so see system why system is taking india here okay there is some definition in this system it is set to country as india that is the reason just it is taking that is all about profile option i will explain you now very anyway, well just if india is not there just go to click on search you may find some other country depending on that specification i'll take you through that how to set it up so here search for india 
click on go and here we have a you can select then you have to click on select instead of selecting here clicking on this tab simply you can go with a quick select just click on that it will get selected with one click okay we are going to create the legal entity related to which country in which country we have a registration that country you have to select as a territory okay the legal entity we are going to create the legal entity the registration information will belong to specific country so the which country that information you have to provide the legal entity name so for any definition we are using the company name as ebs erp tree will go with the same so legal entity name is ebs erp tree the registration belongs to which country india india legal entity you can write so organization name with which name you have a registration when you go for registration we have to submit the name so with which name will be running our business that you have to provide here say name is ebs erp tree india private limited legal entity identifier it's nothing but registration number okay when we go for registration the government will provide some registration number that number you have to enter here so when we are creating this information in the system when we are in the project our client will be providing that registration document to us by seeing that we'll be entering this information here okay the pan number the company pan number okay if you are the company is involving in the imports and exports the relevant uh, identification details you have to provide be done with this okay this is identification information okay that the next section is legal address legal address means when you go for registration you have to submit to the government as you are doing the business in so and so location the physical office address normally your corporate office or head office address will be providing for the registration that address we have to create here so here we have a two options select existing address the other one is create new address okay just you can select existing addresses or else you can go with the option called as create new address let's see how create new address will work okay just select create new address is opening all the fields relevant fields some format is missing no issues so location name you can give as ebs location okay here some flat or door or block number and city hyderabad state you can select or not mandatory just provide all the information the detail information since the fields are not mandatory i am not entering okay then so after that your general information is optional so minimum you can enter currency so enter inr because this registration belongs to india so select country local currency that is inr provide this information and just click on apply so this is a which instance vision instance we are using this instance for our practice but when you are working in the real time just will be providing the exact information whatever the registration client has since this is a vision instance the many legal entities will be created here the many guys may select the i mean uh, the city as hyderabad or bangalore or delhi or the same values or similar naming convention will be entering because of that reason when you click on apply it may throw some error messages so if you find that situation you have to change the legal entity identifier number or pan numbers or company name okay these or else you can just change the location name then it will work but when you are working what are the information will provide system will accept but here there is a lot of duplication in this instance since many guys are using the very same information similar information there may be many locations which are created in the system with a slight difference with hyderabad that is the reason i am not entering hyderabad okay in the same way so there will be some duplication that is the reason just it may accept it may not accept let's see here so normally this is how we have to provide the information after giving this information you can say apply
just click on apply just system is validating this record okay everything went fine so you can see the confirmation you have successfully created a new legal entity called ebs erp3 legal entity okay when you are creating the legal entity if it is not going to uh, it's not going to save as you expect what you could do is change the pan number or change the location name then that will work okay fine done we created legal entity fine so just i'm marking in this done. what is the next step assign legal entity to primary ledger take all these points take all these points assign primary ledger to sorry assign legal entity to primary ledger assign legal entity to primary ledger we'll go and assign the legal entity water to primary ledger any question yeah in a vision instance there is no validation for like pen number uh, pen number have some not fixed the, pattern one, one second not in the vision instance in any instance no validation no pan number here you can have with the 10 digits but system won't worry about that validation okay oracle did not build with that validation you have to make sure that you are right entering the right number okay oh. they didn't write the programming to do the validation for india when we are entering the pan number that should be in only in 10 digits that sort of validation they didn't write as a part of product okay it's not instance specific in any product it it works in the same way if any difference i'll be explaining that fine <clears throat> so now we'll go and assign legal entity to primary ledger so how to assign how to assign the legal entity to primary ledger okay just go to accounting setup tab take all these points please make a note so that the same you can follow and practice if you are just attending this session after session after few sessions or the same one session when you start with the practice it will be a bit difficult for maybe for few guys at least okay so we are going to assign the legal entity to primary ledger legal entity means le primary ledger means pl we are going to assign le to pl how to assign first we have to find out the primary ledger to which primary ledger you want to assign your legal entity you have to find that primary ledger first our primary ledger is ebs erp3 india primary ledger just click on go nothing but search now click on update accounting options just click on update accounting options okay so this is information you can see here so <clears throat> the same page we can find one tab called as add legal entity so add legal entity once you add legal entity that means we are assigning that legal entity to this primary ledger okay so here also you can see the same the accounting options are related to this primary ledger within the primary ledger we are selecting legal entity means that we are assigning to this legal entity this primary ledger only okay so what we are trying to do to assign the legal entity to primary ledger first you have to find your primary ledger click on go then click on update accounting options to assign our legal entity to primary ledger click on add legal entity just click on this tab it will ask us okay which legal entity we want to assign okay for that you can once again click on add legal entity so search for our legal entity it starts with ebs just click on go yes we have our legal entity legal entity name is ebs erp3 india legal entity belongs to country india and this is our registration number select and say select just click on select remember one legal entity you can assign to only one primary ledger okay select say just click on select that would get selected here you can see that record then we can say apply just click on apply you'll be able to see that legal entity is assigned to our primary ledger so here 
the system selected if you want to remove that legal entity now you can remove after some time you cannot remove it okay after completing this definition you cannot remove that okay now you have option to remove okay done anyway we assigned our legal entity to our primary ledger done what is the next step please anyone assigning uh, uh, to segments segment banks legal entity no 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 there is no proper information in the assign bsv to le yes we have to assign psvs balance and segment values to legal entity how to assign we have a balance and segment values in this primary ledger so those we have to assign to this legal entity so we have to assign to this legal entity in this legal entity record you have a update icon update balance and segment values just by clicking on this you will be able to assign balance and segment values to this legal entity okay the task is assign balance and segment values to legal entity this task just now we completed okay assign balance and segment values to legal entity so how to assign to which legal entity you want to assign against that legal entity whatever the update icon you have just click on that just click on update balance and segment values now system is selecting ebs erp3 company this is a value set why it is selecting erp3 ebs erp3 company value set only the company value set we assign to company segment the company segment we assign balance and segment flex fill qualifier that means system is able to understand which segment is balance and segment and for that balance and segment what are the value set is associated that value that are value set only system is fetching here now within this value set how many companies we have three those you can assign to our legal entity how to assign simple click on add balancing segment value tab just click on this we'll repeat this step I'm just canceling so what are the balance and segment values we have within this ledger those we want to assign to this legal entity so just the same record click on update balance and segment values now click on add balance and segment value now click on go to list out all the balance and segment values so you want to assign only one select one and say select and submit now we want to assign three so select three or else with one click you can select all by clicking on select all okay select three then say select okay now you can remove if you want to remove okay you can remove remove option is available that means the three balance and segment values thousand two thousand three thousand we are assigning to our legal entity if you want to remove you can remove it now but we don't want to remove not required we are assigning whatever is required so just select here then say apply now the same you can see from here also see system is updating here through this option whatever we selected the system is displaying here thousand two thousand three thousand so within this primary ledger what are the balance and segment values we have those we assign to this legal entity if you have one more legal entity you can add here okay and click on update and assign which balance and segment values you want to assign to that legal entity one balance and segment value you can assign to one legal entity only if you have a three legal entities create three and list out three here only first by thousand you may assign to first legal entity two thousand you may assign to second three thousand you may assign to three thousand okay uh, i mean uh, three thousand you may assign to third legal entity that's how you can assign any question here please if one country doing three kinds of business okay so uh, on the time uh, we will create a three uh, three different uh, legal entities right the same we discussed i take an example for india so you are running the business in india and you are doing the three businesses 
since country is own one you can go with one registration if you are interested to go with the separate registrations nobody will stop us at the same time we will assign these three segments to three legal entities to one primary ledger if you create three you see what you are saying three companies are legal entities so if we uh, these three legal entities uh, assign to one primary ledger yes one primary is it possible see we never assign uh, legal entities to primary ledger sorry we never okay three okay three legal entities we have the three legal entities are belongs to one country yes you will assign to one primary ledger that means india primary ledger in that case okay thank you yeah so you are saying three legal entities okay you are running yes, three legal entities yeah say you are running the business in india and for three businesses you have a three legal entities in that case so here we take in the case only one legal entity we have we add it in the same way the remaining two also will be adding here whatever you add that we call as we are assigning to primary ledger okay, okay thank you now the three companies whatever will be having in the primary ledger first company to first legal entity second company to second legal entity third company to third legal entity you can assign one primary ledger is enough for that yeah one because country is one one is enough Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Fine. So, any other questions here, please? So, uh, means like if we have three different different legal entity, a legal entry, so we can assign with one uh, primary ledger. Yes. Possible. Yes. 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 And there are cases where when you have a, you can have more than one legal one primary ledger also in one country. that i'll be explaining as a part of multi org structure okay and what base will be deciding why we require more than one also that also will be discussing within one country why we require more than one primary ledger those points also will be discussing more detail level right so any other questions here please no fine now we'll go and check the status of our primary ledger Let's go to accounting setups. So search for our primary ledger. EBS ERP three. Just click on go. What is the status of our primary ledger? In progress. If you want to use this primary ledger, if you want to use this primary ledger to record the transactions, the primary ledger status should be completed. So the complete status indicates with a tick mark. So now what we have to do? We have to complete our primary ledger. How to complete? Just click on update accounting options, and here we have a tab called as complete. Just click on complete. After completing all these activities, do it. Okay, just don't do this activity before you just do off off or partially. Okay. so just click on say after assigning the legal entities to this and after assigning the balance of segment values to legal entity you can just say complete then that would be ready to use and before completing this you should not make it as ready to use just say complete now system will ask us some confirmation so you are about to complete your primary ledger this will save all the options out of the information you provided and certain components you cannot delete the legal entities you cannot delete here we have a delete option now you can delete but once it's completed you cannot delete that's what system is saying the balance and segment values whatever we assign to legal entity those also you cannot delete so system is saying that you are going to complete it once you complete you cannot remove are you sure or not system is asking say yes fine done then say return to accounting setups it will take us to that accounting setup home page here see status is marked as a completed now click on click on again update accounting options here you cannot remove the legal entity the remove legal entity option is system is just this uh, hidden okay so hiding that option 
and if you go to update balance and segment values here you cannot remove the balance and segment values also earlier the option was enabled now it's got disabled since we finalize this definition okay now this primary ledger is ready to use okay this primary ledger we can use fine done so now we'll discuss few points okay primary ledger is ready okay so our primary ledger is ready <clears throat> so where we can use the primary ledger the primary ledger we can use within the responsibility only within the responsibility now we have to create the responsibility okay we have to create responsibility okay responsibility through responsibility you can have access to particular application or spe say specific forms means specific functions you can say okay through responsibility by creating the responsibility user can have access to specific forms and reports primarily when you say the group of forms we call as application which are related to specific department generally so this just in this level try to understand the meaning of responsibility with the simple information once you get into that we can see exactly what it is okay primarily the simple point we have to understand okay we have primary ledger ready okay so where we have to use that primary ledger within the responsibility for that reason what we have to do is we have to create the responsibility then what are the primary ledger we have that primary ledger we have to assign to responsibility now to primary ledger is ready now we have to create the responsibility the responsibility okay the primary ledger we have to assign to responsibility simple so how to assign okay the first step is completed the primary ledger is completed the second step is you have to create responsibility the third step is you have to assign primary ledger to responsibility <coughs> say here to assign the primary ledger to responsibility assigning means connecting assigning means connecting okay say for example you want to stick some paper on the wall how do you stick the paper on the wall how do we stick using gum by using the gum gum by using gum we can stick the paper on the wall okay the statement is very clear we are going to stick the paper on the uh, paper on the wall not wall on the paper the same way here we are going to assign primary ledger to responsibility not responsibility to primary ledger always we can stick the paper on the wall In the same way primary ledger we can assign to responsibility so here we are just using component called as a gum by using gum we can stick the paper on the wall to assign the primary ledger to responsibility what we use in the system we use profile option with the gum we can stick the paper on the wall with the profile option okay with the profile option we can assign the primary ledger to responsibility if you stick the paper on the wall can you remove that paper from the wall yes or no both options we have in the system yes 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 or no anything yes depending on which gum you are using that's matter right so here primary ledger we are going to assign to responsibility by using profile option so when you assign the primary ledger to responsibility any time you can remove it the assignment you can remove it okay now let me ask you one more question which gum you may use to stick the paper on the wall profile option hey, come on just i am asking which gum which gum you may use 
very quick okay yes there are some names right the same way okay when you are assigning the primary lecture to responsibility will be using the specific profile option for profile option also we have name however we have a different gum brands in the market there are different profile option names which we will be using depending on the purpose so here which profile option we have to use the profile option name is gl ledger name to make more meaningful instead of saying paper we can stick on the wall instead of saying that i can say by using fevi quick gum we can stick the paper on the wall the same way, instead of saying we can assign the primary ledger to responsibility by using the profile option instead of saying this i can say by using gl ledger name profile option we can assign primary ledger to responsibility okay so this is what we have to understand what we do first step we complete it here the second step is we have to create the responsibility now primary ledger is ready responsibility is ready but those are two separate components we need those two components okay we need those two components to process any transaction in the system if you have a responsibility only you can have access to only forms within the form what you require you have to select the date you have to select the currency and you have to select the accounts debit and credit account nothing but description all where we have within the primary ledger in the primary ledger only we have a calendar to fetch the dates within the primary ledger only we have a currency to select when you enter amount within the primary ledger only we have a chart of accounts to provide the description all we have in the primary ledger if you have a just responsibility it's all about empty forms where you cannot have record proper transaction to record the transaction primarily we require date description and currency specification that information is available only in the primary ledger when you connect primary ledger to responsibility by using that primary ledger which is available in the responsibility you can record the transactions okay the primary ledger should be available within the responsibility for that what we are going to do we are going to assign the primary ledger to responsibility by using the profile option which profile option gl ledger name profile option okay that okay we have one responsibility and we have one primary ledger we assign this primary ledger to responsibility then how user can access we have to assign this okay we have to assign we have to assign this responsibility to user okay we have to assign this responsibility to user then user will be able to access to this responsibility when our user access this responsibility to this responsibility what are the primary ledger is already associated by using that primary ledger user can create the transactions any question here please uh yeah so when when we are creating this uh, accounting uh, setups so we are, we are using our uh, uh, you know basic responsibility so there we don't require any responsibility to be created before creating these setups so as uh, it is an initial initial uh, company setup i didn't get your question no. okay so we uh, ours is a new installation in our company so no, if it is a new installation in our no, company i am going to explain that uh, once we complete oh. this that is uh, actual that's what i was telling will go with uh, more than okay. segments and all there i will be explain here okay. try to understand this logic this would be fine whatever we are expecting that questions like in reality how it works okay. that scenario i am going to take okay. uh, i'll take you through but if i take you through directly that would be, become little bit confusion to avoid that i am just going in this track all right no problem so anyway let me answer with a just with in a very high high level so when you are working in real time there won't be any general ledger vision operations usa responsibility we will be creating all the responsibilities from all our responsibilities only will be creating all this first we will be creating the responsibility 
first you will create the GL responsibility. From GL responsibility only you will be creating the calendar, chart of accounts, primary ledger, legal entity, all we will be doing from our responsibility. So if I take you through directly creating the responsibility, it, it will be like some something like big task for everyone. So that is the reason just I am introducing that what is the responsibility we have, how it will be using. Then we are going to create our own responsibility in the today's session. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thanks. The reality that's how we'll do it. Anyway, I'll just once we complete with this basic uh, the draft understanding, I'll take you to the core process from where we'll be starting when we are in the project. This all will be useful. Whatever we are discussing, all will be useful, but there will be getting some additional information also, which is really required. Fine. Any other questions here, please? Fine. No questions. If you have any questions, you can stop me and you can raise those points. So we're done with this and we completed our primary ledger definition also. Now the next step is what we have to do. Create responsibility. After creating the responsibility, which responsibility for our understanding will create GL responsibility? And you say responsibility, the responsibility should belong to a specific application, right? The responsibility we have to create against the application. So we'll go and create the GL responsibility. After creating the GL responsibility, what is the next step? What is the next step we have to perform? Anyone? Like just assigning, assigning primary ledger to responsibility yes assign primary ledger to say gl response since we are taking the example the gl gl responsibility okay done we'll assign after that what we'll do is we'll create our own user okay we'll create our own user so create new user the next step is what we have to assign to a user responsibility assign gl responsibility to user then we can log into the instance with our own user and we can start working on our own responsibility okay so once we get this understanding then we'll be we'll start with the actual process from where we'll be starting when we are into project okay so after that what task will be performing we'll discuss anyway fine so from which responsibility we created calendar chart of accounts and primary ledger from general ledger responsibility right now right. This any responsibility, any responsibility you can create from the system administrator responsibility. Okay, responsibility from where we can we have to create from system administrator responsibility. Okay, we are going to create responsibility from system. System administrator responsibility. Just the short I'm writing responsibility. So we can create the responsibility only from the system administrator responsibility. Okay, fine. So now we'll go to the instance. <clears throat> so we are in general ledger vision operations. Now we have to go to which responsibility? System administrator responsibility. If you go to this home page here, okay, in this list you can see the system administrator responsibility. From operation for operations user, system administrator responsibility is assigned. Here is the responsibility called as system administrator. Here we have system admin administration responsibility also. Don't go with that. Okay, we require system administrator responsibility. Okay, system administrator responsibility. You can expand this.
you can click on any one of the function it will open the navigator but in our case already the navigator is open now instead of going back to this section what you can do is from here you can move to that other responsibility how to move here we have a switch responsibility icon a cap icon the hat icon you can see here just click on this it will displace all the responsibilities which are assigned to our current user operations for operations user what are the responsibilities are assigned all you can see from here whatever you see from here those are these only here whatever you are able to see the same responsibilities we are able to see from here that's it now which responsibility we have to select system administrator just type yes it will filter responsibilities which starts with the system s yes. so s yes, why i am typing there are only two responsibilities which responsibility prefix starts with s y so now we have to select system administrator okay fine i am closing i am not selecting how to move move from one to another responsibility is nothing but simply we say switching how to switch from one to other responsibility but just click on switch responsibility then just type for that responsible name and select and say okay we will be switching to that responsibility this is shortcut otherwise what you have to do is you have to go to file option and select switch responsibility then same form will open to select the responsibility okay you may go with this navigation or else simply you can click on this hat icon it will list out now type sy and select system administrator not administration system administrator responsibility how to select then say okay now complete will be moving into system administrator responsibility okay system administrator responsibility fine now what we want to do here we want to create our own responsibility okay we are going to create gl responsibility take the navigation okay to create the navigation so responsibility or application name the application name is system administrator with the same application name they created responsibility also that's it so application or responsible name is system administrator yes we are in the system administrator responsibility only what we want to do we want to create the responsibility it can be any responsibility but we are going to create gl responsibility that's all to create the responsibility take the navigation go to security please take all these points it's all required for your practice go to security then just click on that it will open other sub menus go to responsibility just double click and say define navigation is security responsibility define the same you can see here also what we are going to do we are going to define the responsibility or say create responsibility to create the responsibility navigation is security responsibility defined i'll write the same here okay security responsibility defined this is a navigation you have to take you have to go to this responsibility or application and from the system administrator i have to follow this navigation security responsibility define so just double click on define from this page you can create what are the responsibility you require okay so so far which responsibility we used general ledger vision operations usa that responsibility also created from this page this form if you want to see that you can see how to find out any existing records click on find search for general ledger just giving percentage vision operations instead of writing vision operations vision percentage 
USD. Then enter. Which one we used? General edge of vision operations, right? General ledger vision operations USC USD right USD USA we have USA So general nature. This is the one, right? So general ledger, vision operations, USA. So this is the responsibility we used so far. So that is also created from here only. Okay. Just for information, I'm just opening that. When you ignore it. What is the responsibility to create the new res uh, new responsibility? What is the navigation to create the new responsibility? Security responsibility define now here we can give the name so we want to create the responsibility to access general ledger application so accordingly we can provide the name i'll say ebs erp3 general ledger okay i'll say manager Okay, you can write the name if you are going to create the responsibility which responsibility will have access to entire application access that you can represent with a manager or super user full access okay so this responsibility we are creating to access which application general ledger you can find from lov or else just you can type here just tab out it will fetch the application name Responsibility key, nothing but short name. EBS ERP3 GL. Just short name for this responsible identification purpose. Then, here, just now try to focus on how to create the responsibility. Going forward, I will explain what is the meaning of data group and all these what we are selecting. Just look at the process of responsibility definition what is the meaning of that responsibility we will understand once we start using that responsibility okay so data group select as a standard why standard what is the meaning of standard we'll be discussing okay this responsibility against which application general ledger so select application as a general ledger okay menu okay so already we discussed for every application there will be one menu so what Oracle is doing is for every application they are providing one menu which consists of all that application related features. So what our Oracle provides we can call as seeded right. So now you can say seeded menus we have which are provided by Oracle. For each application we have a separate seeded menus. To access entire general ledger application functionality Oracle is providing the menu called as GL super user within the GL super user menu you can have access to, you can find all the functionality which is related to general ledger application I'm just providing that name the name they created as a GL super user I'm just I typed super here just tab out it will fetch the first one GL super user so this is a seeded menu Oracle is providing for general ledger Within this menu, you can have a submenus. Under submenus, you can have a functions. Okay. From GL responsibility, whatever we could see, all are get we are all we are getting from this menu only. The proof also we'll see going forward. And request group. Here you can select the request group for GLS. 
GL Congruent Program Group. So <clears throat> the menu consists of submenus and functions. The request group consists of reports, okay, which can be submitted from this responsibility. If you notice here, the request group is optional. Okay, request group is optional. So those points will be discussing why optional which scenario you can make it as optional which scenario you can make it as mandatory all these points will discuss detail level okay so just for now try just focus on how to create the responsibility okay just very soon like will be in a few hours discussion you will get to know the each and every field why we are addressing how these three are connected how it will work all the points will be understanding okay so how we are creating the responsibility we are first we are providing the name then we are selecting application as general ledger we are providing the short name for the responsibility data group we selected as a standard data group application name we selected as general ledger for menu we selected gl super user why we are selecting gl super user because this responsibility we are creating to connect to gl related functionality okay and here we selected request group called as gl content program group this is also seeded request group which oracle pro oracle is providing by including by clubbing all the reports which are related to gl gl menu consists of all gl futures and gl concurrent program group which is a request group consists of all gl related reports within this you can find the reports within this you can find the functions which are maintained with the help of sub menus okay this is basically data group specification by using this menu related forms whenever you enter the data the data has to be stored in which database related area in the database what oracle provides that is a standard within the database that area which is allocated for general ledger there the data has to be stored that, that is the meaning of the data group okay we will we'll discuss these points once again don't worry about this to understand but just try to focus on how to create so simple point is how to create the primary ledger simply you can say by using four C's you can create calendar currency chart of accounts and accounting method how to create the responsibility means you can say by using the data group menu and request group you can create the responsibility so which are mandatory which are optional data group and menu are mandatory request group is optional just notice these points We'll be discussing more detail level. Okay, just save it. Any questions here, please? Is it possible to create our own menu here? Yeah, yeah, we'll be creating. We'll be creating. Yes, we can create. Now, our classes, we are going to create our own menus. Our own menus, whatever we create, we call as custom menus. We'll be creating the custom menus we will be creating our own request groups also so within this request group we will be having all the reports but specific user may require access to two reports or three reports or five reports for that we have to create the separate request group okay we will be working on all these points but we need to wait for some time any questions here please Any questions from anyone, please? Fine, no questions. Fine, you can close it. We created our own responsibility. What is the navigation we followed? We used security responsibility. Define. Let's see which responsibility we created. Click on. Fine, or else you can go with the query. F11 enter the response name use control f11 that's how system will fetch otherwise the simple option is go with the find search for ebs ebs erp3 general ledger manager select okay this is the responsibility which we created done we created our own gl responsibility now what is the next step we have to assign primary ledger to responsibility using which profile option gl ledger name by using gl ledger name profile option we have to assign our primary ledger to responsibility 
okay take the navigation take the task name as assign primary ledger to responsibility which task we are going to perform we are going to assign the primary ledger to responsibility so take the navigation navigation is that that activity also that active profile options the primary ledger we can assign to responsibility using profile option this activity we can do from system administrator responsibility only okay so anyway we are in the system administrator responsibility now what we have to do we have to follow the navigation to assign the primary ledger to responsibility the navigation is profile take all these points profile system navigation is profile system navigation is profile system just double click so system is opening one form called as find system profile values now tell me to which responsibility to which responsibility you want to assign your primary ledger to which responsibility exact responsibility what is the name dbs crp tree general ledger exactly that name you provide here to which responsibility you want to assign your primary ledger that responsibility name provided in the responsibility field just directly you can enter the name here ebs erp3 you don't need to provide the full name tab out it will fetch once you provide the name automatically system will select the checkbox okay now tell me to this responsibility we want to assign our primary ledger by using which profile option you want to assign general ledger you know by using which profile option we are going to assign primary ledger to responsibility we discussed by using which profile option no issues take some time and tell me general ledger name that's all general name ledger name don't say general ledger ledger name you don't call in that way so gl means general ledger in terms of application but when you say profile option you should call it as gl ledger name that's it by using gl ledger name profile option we are going to assign our primary ledger to responsibility by using which profile option we are going to assign provide that profile option name here you can select from lov click on lov and search for your profile option gl ledger you may give percentage then click on find system will find out this is the profile option right gl ledger name you can select it otherwise if you know the name exactly you can type here you don't need to click on lov you don't need to search no need to select simply you can provide the responsible name if you know the profile option name enter here directly okay so enter the profile option name now by using this profile option what we are going to do tell me these all are just simple discussions by you we are assigning this pl2 responsibility yeah we are going to with this profile option we are going to assign primary ledger to this responsibility to assign that primary ledger to this responsibility with the help of this profile option click on find just click on find now here you can see our responsibility and here is the profile option gl ledger name okay and to assign our primary ledger to our responsibility under responsibility you have to select our primary ledger name if you don't complete our primary ledger you don't find that primary ledger name in this lov of this field okay so what we have to do what is the name ebs tab out it will fetch automatically it is taking the name ebs that will be in the primary ledger 
don't provide your ledger name in the site level and all other levels okay so what is the purpose of site and application user everything i'll be explaining whatever we are discussing just please go with that process okay i'm, I'm not saving i am going to cancel this we'll redo this how to assign the primary ledger to responsibility by using gl ledger profile option how to do this just please mute from your end we could hear some noise from someone please fine navigation is profile system to which responsibility you want to assign your primary ledger first select that responsibility type ebs ERP tab out it will fetch automatically since the name is available now by using which profile option you can assign primary ledger to responsibility gl ledger name gl ledger name if you know the name this exactly you can type here or else go to elbow view and find out now click on find this is your responsibility to this responsibility which profile option you want to assign that profile option you can assign why this field is opening under our responsibility because this profile option name because of this option this field is opening the profile option name is gl ledger name that is reason in this list ledgers only will come okay that is the point ebs type it will fetch ebs erp3 india primary ledger you can save it done any questions here please Could you please come before page? Yeah, please. I mean that profile. Yes, yes, please. Profile. Your question. We mentioned that uh, GL ledger name, gender ledger name. Correct. So directly we can give that the EBS ERP three gender ledger name. We can mention that. It, it, no, no. Is, is it possible? No, no, no. In this form only you can give it. Okay. There Thank you cannot you. give. Thank you. Okay. Fine. Uh -huh. Okay. This is the process you have to follow. There you cannot give. So if you give this profile option under our responsibility, the ledgers will get listed. If you give here some different profile option, the different values will get listed under responsibility. That that is the logic. Okay, thank you, sir. Thanks. Any other questions here, please? Don't touch the site and all. Okay, just whatever you are doing, just follow follow that. I'll be just covering rest also. What you should understand by end of the course. Okay, so this is a process to assign primary ledger to responsibility. So save it after assigning, after selecting the primary ledger here under responsibility, save it. Otherwise, no use, right? So the selection under responsibility, this only we call as we assign primary ledger to responsibility. We are selecting, but that only we call as assignment. Just you can close it. Okay, done. So we assigned primary ledger to responsibility by using GL ledger name profile option. Now we are going to create new user. We are going to create new user so user also you can create from system administrator user also you can create from system administrator so take the task name as create new user okay just make a note as create new user just what navigation you have to follow to create the user let's see that so navigation is to create the user navigation is security user define users we can create from system administrator responsibility to create the user we have to follow the navigation called security user define navigation is security user define security user define So this is the user creation.
form okay it's a very simple definition user creation is very simple here first you have to provide the username and you have to enter the password first you have to enter the password again system will ask us to confirm the password then if the password the first time and the confirmation time or second time whatever you're entering if it is matching that's all that's all, that's all uh, the process which you have to follow to create the user that's it username and password you have to set it up that's all let's see that so we'll have a username called as a ebs erp3 just provide the username and provide password so enter password and tab out use tab to move to the next field but system will ask us to enter the password again nothing but confirmation here oracle is not providing the two fields to enter password and to confirm the same in the second field the logic they build in the same field so you have to enter the same password here only for, as for confirmation i am entering the same password okay i am just entering the wrong password tab out saying that verification failed please try again now it will match entered again entered correct now it is accepted now you can save this record now the user status is blank just save this record the user will be active that's all this is how we create the user going forward we will be understanding how to assign the employee to this user and other points but for now the simple point here is how to create the user so we created user and we given the password and we confirm the same and save the record that user will get activated that user create username we should give ebs erp3 or we will give any some other name anything you can give just for login which user what name you want to use that's it okay thank you yeah, anything you can give just here's to sync what we are discussing i am just giving the username as ebs erp3 that's all i can give my name or your name any name okay fine so normally organization point of view the user names most of the cases they will be using the employee id the employee id they will be entering as a username the employee name they will be selecting in this field as a person before that they will be creating that also will be doing in our case right so password expiration just policies that will be discussing later now for now you can ignore it okay how many days after the exceed a password should be expired and access how many times after how many times login it has to be expired none means it is not going to be expired at any point of time okay fine any questions here uh for password uh, anything like uh, alphabetic add character or like that mandatory so, yeah that you, that you can but by default by default as per standard product there is no such kind of validation as per your company policy how you want to set the validation that can be done by your dba dba can specify the validations your requirement may be first letter should be upper case the password size should be number of characters 10 minimum or 6 or 8 and it should include one numerical letter also this all policy can be set up by DBA as a part of this user definition, user password validation policies. Okay. Okay. We don't involve in that. And they can, they can implement here, our DBA. Here not. Here not. Uh, there is a separate uh, process which they follow. Admin, uh, that they will be doing from ad, ad, administration task. Okay. As a DBA task, they will be performing. Okay, we'll take the requirement okay. from the client and the client will be telling us, literally, they'll be informing us that will pass to DBA, they'll do it. Okay. Yeah, done. Now, we created our user. Next task is we have to assign our responsibility to user. What are the responsibility we created? That responsibility we have to assign to user. So, very simple. So, this is our user which we created just now. So, which responsibility you want to assign to this user, that responsibility you can select here, that only we call as responsibility assignment to the user. Okay. Which responsibility you want to assign? EBS, ERP3. Just select 
provide some name and tab out it will fetch you are selecting responsibility here that means you are assigning the responsibility to this user save it okay save it done we created a user and we assign responsibility to this user in the same way you can assign n number of responsibilities to this user but we created only one we are assigning the same any question here please fine we created a user and we assign the responsibility i'm closing this now we will log into the instance with our own user so to that user we assigned only one responsibility that user will be able to have access to the same i'm just going to sign out from this current access just one second say here log out okay now we we'll log into this instance with our own user our own username is ebs erp3 and password i just given the password as oracle entered here just click on login first time we are logging we are first time we are trying to log into the instance so system will prompt us to reset our password just click on login the first time it will ask us to reset our current user is oracle and you can provide new password and re enter the same new password just click on submit nothing just some pop up will showing close it the browser specific pop up okay it's not syncing our responsibility it will come here yeah now it is appearing so we are accessing the system as a ebs erp3 user within that user you can see only one responsibility which we assign to this user now you can expand this responsibility what you could see through general ledger vision operations usa responsibility the same you can see here journals click on enter or any function you can select it will open the navigator for general ledger responsibility when we are working in the real time first we will create responsibility like this now we create a response same way first we will create responsibility from our responsibility only we will go and do the setups set up financials calendars types and accounting after that we'll go to currencies set up currencies define we'll go and enable our currency after that we'll create our primary ledger set up financials accounting setup manager accounting setups we'll create from here we'll create legal entities this is the process we follow whatever we did from general ledger vision operations usa responsibility the same activities we will be doing in real time from our own responsibility before we start with everything first we will create responsibility we will create user we will assign that responsibility to that user from that response from that user by using our own responsibility we will be creating in fresh instance you don't find any general ledger vision operations usa responsibility anyway that i am going to repeat once again by including all the applications related responsibilities as a standard process which we follow any questions here please when we are going to start practice session we will do like that first we will create the uh, user user creation yeah that that i'll be showing from tomorrow session okay in the real time from where we start how we start what points we have to understand that will be discussing first in the tomorrow session and that base will be starting okay these sessions to understand technically and to create so where all most of the things will get introduced to you then from tomorrow session it would be like 
from which aspect we, i mean on, by based on which points we have to understand the client business okay and how we have to build all those things in the system what would be the first step when we get a fresh instance from oracle so that will be discussing but same will be repeating but the sequence will be changed but these points we have to understand okay that's all about it okay thank you yeah thanks. thank you sir. fine so fine now what we'll do is just we'll go and create one simple transaction okay within the general ledger we know like in ap we what transaction will create invoices and payments receivables sales invoice and do receipts and assets okay fixed assets assets and depreciation retirements and other activities that's how just we'll create application specific transactions in the same way in the general ledger application okay general ledger application whatever we create those we call as journals okay we'll call as journals just for testing just very high level understanding what we do is we'll go and create one journal if you want to create the journal okay if you want to create the journal in gl we have to open the gl periods so what we are going to do is say open gl periods for each application we have a periods concept okay we have to open the period then only we can enter the transaction okay enter the transaction we have to open the if you want to record the transaction the general ledger applications with the help of our responsibility we have to open the gl periods then only we can create the journals in gl we'll open the gl periods and we'll create journal okay that's what we are going to test now fine say open gl periods so gl periods we can open from gl responsibility only so take the navigation task name is open gl periods so now we are the current month is november so to enter the transactions we'll open the november month and we'll enter the transaction when we move to december month we will close november month because we don't want to allow someone to enter the transactions in the past period okay so that's how we just we follow the process going forward we'll discuss many points related to that okay now the simple point is in which period okay you want to create enter the transaction that period you have to open so to open the period in gl take the navigation navigation is setup open or close means to open or to close the period we will we will use the same function okay navigation is setup open or close just double click okay double click see system is taking automatically ebs erp tree india primary ledger how it is taking automatically any guess from profile of from uh, responsibility yes we are in responsibility to this responsibility we assign this ledger by using profile option so within this responsibility wherever you go wherever you see the field called as ledger there automatically system will take it reason to this responsibility this ledger is assigned so within this responsibility you can use this ledger we have many ledgers in the system but we can access only this ledger see from lo you are not finding reason only one ledger we assign to this responsibility if you want to assign multiple you can assign that will be covering as a part of gl classes okay here this is the point you have to understand okay fine so automatically system is taking the this ledger now click on find within this ledger we have a accounting calendar within the accounting calendar we have a periods those you can see just click on find so within this ledger we have a accounting calendar within that accounting calendar what is the first period we have april now which period we want to open current period we want to open current period 
without opening the first period you cannot open the current period okay without opening the first period you cannot open the current period so within your primary ledger what are the accounting calendar we have within that which is the first period you define that period you have to open then only you will be able to open the current period by op first you will be opening the april then may june july up to november you will be able to open we'll see that process okay first we have to open the first period in our accounting calendar so this is our first period say open are you sure you want to open this first period in our ledger in our ledger means within our ledger we have accounting calendar within the accounting calendar we have this as a first period yes now request will be submitted to concrete manager say okay you can go to srs window and you can see so concrete manager will be busy in the process of opening the periods in this accounting calendar you can hit on this refresh data so that the task will be completed as soon as possible otherwise it will take ideally some more time just we can hit this refresh data so that the process will get complete as soon as possible close it now again close this form also again take the same navigation setup open close just click on find now you could see the first period april period status you can see as a open okay now which period you want to open november if you try to open november what system will do is anyway april is open from may it will open all the periods automatically up to november we'll see that process so if you want to open one by one also you can open now april period is open now you can click on open next period then may will open again click on next open next period june will open we never do that activity <coughs> directly in our current period is november you can say click on open target period just click on open target period our system is asking which is our target period give our target period as a number number then say open period now what system will do is the first period which is opened is april then system will understand first period is april open from that period to till this number 17 it will open all the periods without opening the prior periods current period cannot be opened system will automate that period opening process till number okay just click on open periods are you sure you want to open the target period yes and say okay system will run the concurrent programs to open all the periods it takes some time because we have around 10 periods to be open then status is come progress is come, uh, this program status is complete and status is normal you can close it again reopen the same form with the same navigation setup open or close then click on find now you can see up to november all periods are opened april to november periods are open 
Now, if period status is open, you will be able to enter the transactions. So, November period status is open, you can go and create the transactions within the November. Okay. So, close this. Now, we will see how to create the journal in GL. A journal means normally 